Okay, so this next video is going to be about operations of polynomials. The first one, we're gonna, first operation that we're going to be talking about is adding and subtracting. All you would do for adding and subtracting is to add or subtract like term monomials. Okay, so I have an example right here, 3x plus 1 minus the quantity x plus 2. So what I'm going to do is rearrange these terms so they match up based on the like terms. So I'm going to put the 3x with this x right here, but it's really important to see that it's 3x minus x. Okay, and I'm going to kind of cross these off as I go. Next, I'm going to do the plus 1 minus plus 2. So I'm going to do plus 1 minus positive 2, like so. So now I have like terms matched up. Now all I have to do is do 3x minus x, which would be 2x plus 1 minus 2. Well, 1 minus 2 is negative 1, so you can do plus negative 1, or you can write 2x minus 1 as your answer. Okay, so I used all my terms, I just put lines through them, and you have your answer. The next one, multiplying by a monomial, you have to use the distributive property. So it's similar to the distributive property using numbers, only this time I'm using um, monomials here and a polynomial here. Okay, so you're going to take this number and multiply it by this first term. So you end up with x squared times x. Then I'm going to take this x squared again and multiply it by this term, the 2. So then I'm going to do plus, there's a plus right there, 2x squared. Now, based on our rules for uh, multiplying of powers, we know that we need to add the exponents here. So it should be x to the third plus 2x squared to have it simplified. And then you have the answer of mul for multiplying by a monomial. So it's a polynomial times a monomial. Next one, we have multiplying a polynomial by a polynomial. So we have a polynomial here and here. They're both binomials. Again, you would use the distributive property, but you have to go through an extra step. So I'm going to take each one of these terms um, by itself first. So I have this x, and I'm going to multiply it by this first x. And so I'll have x times x. Then I'm going to multiply it by this 2 over here. And I'm going to get plus 2x. So that's the first one. After that, I'm going to take this 1. I usually like to go underneath just to stay more organized and do 1 times x. So I'm going to add 1 times x because it's plus, and then 1, to, or 1 times 2, which is 2. Okay, now I need to simplify it based on this principle right over here. So x times x would be x squared, plus I have a 2x plus a 1x to get 3x, and then the 2 simplified, so you would just do plus 2. Okay, so that's when it's a binomial times a binomial. Next, we have a binomial times a trinomial, which is the exact same process, only you just have to go through one extra step. So we're going to take this x and multiply it by the x squared, so you'll end up with x times x squared. Then the x, you have to multiply it by the plus 3x, so I'm going to do plus 3x times x, plus this x times the negative 1 right here. So it's going to be negative x, or you can just do minus x, it doesn't matter, it's the same thing. Then I'm going to do the exact same thing with this 2. So 2 times the x squared, which would be plus 2x squared. 2 times the 3x, which would be plus 6x. And then 2 times the negative 1, which would be minus 2 or plus negative 2, whatever you're comfortable with. x times x squared would be x cubed plus 3x times x is 3x squared plus negative x plus... 2x squared plus 6x minus 2. Okay, we can do some further simplification because we have an x squared term here and an x squared, squared term here. So I'm going to drop down the x cubed. I'm going to start putting lines through things so I can see them a little bit easier. So then we have 5x squared. Then I have a negative x and a 6x to get 5x. So done with those and then drop in the minus 2 and then you have your answer. It's all simplified. And notice that the powers are going from increasing order. You always want it to go from 3 to 2 to 1. You have the highest order first for the uh, variable. I do the same thing here, 2, 1. Um, so that's operations with polynomials. If you have any questions about anything on this video, let me know.